I touched on this the last time I had covered this subject in relation to the Commons Nursing Home that is located in Syracuse, New York. And the reason that I heard about it was because of Ron Paul. Ron Paul had posted, I believe it was on either social or on his website, that the Commons Nursing, the uh, the Commons Nursing Home in upstate New York had zero cases the entire entirety of 2020. They were very strict about maintaining, you know, social distancing and making sure everybody wore PPE. And then after they started, uh, after they started vaccinating everybody, that there were quite a few people. I believe it was 147 out of the 330 residents had started to test positive. And of course, he had said in his comment, you know, you can look it up online or on his website. And he was like, I thought vaccines were supposed to prevent people from getting sick. And I thought it was really interesting. And so I started doing some more research. And in another video I did, I came across quite a few other places having the exact same outcome. And of course, this is coming out of Jerusalem. This is as of from January 3rd, 2021, where it says, 21 residents of a retiring home, they end up testing positive. And this is, this is after receiving, <clears throat> after receiving the, uh, the dosage that you can see right there. And it says health officials have stressed that two doses uh, means that the vaccine is only fully effective after about five weeks of the first dose. But when I, when I did another video and I read like their official, uh, when, cause Israel basically was the guinea pig and poster boy for what was going on in terms of Pfizer. So I'll post the video up top. And basically the information was that uh, Israel, the prime minister was like, well, hey, you give us some of these, you give us some of these vax and we'll give you some data. And of course that never uh, is, is the right way to do things because then there's a conflict of interest, right? And so Coming out here, it says some 21 residents of the Bat Yam retirement home tested positive for the cough. This is after, after the fact, right? It says, but, but according to them, it says, but before they had developed antibodies. Now, according to the original documentation where basically, you know, Israel came out yelling at the top of their lungs, it works, it works. And according to that data was it only took eight days. It only took eight days for people to be, in essence, fully, fully vaxxed and, and free from the likelihood of country of country, uh, contracting the virus. But then when you read other material, it's like, well, they had it two weeks before or it was a month before it takes several weeks. So I'll leave, like I said, I'll leave the link for that video up top. And it says uh, the other 150 will be tested for the virus later. And then. Again, very similar coming out of Texas. And you notice that all these are care facilities. There's a nursing home and Brennan reports 17 had tested positive. And this is, of course, is always after receiving, right? So a lot of these individuals haven't tested positive in some cases where maybe they had no cases at all um, within these care facilities. And then after receiving, they're coming up testing positive. This is according to a spokesperson, the company, three employees. And of course, they're trying to say, well, maybe you had, it was related to the three employees that were not. This is during the first uh, vaccination the clinics on January 7th and on the 28th. And this is as of March 10th. And so it goes on to say 12 re residents had received both doses. And it says, and 17 additional residents were vaccinated for the first time during the second clinic. This is during... Uh, the, the clinic on March 4th, it says nine out of the 17 received their second shot. Out of the 17, 14 had been transferred uh, to Focus Care. Two residents had been transferred to Cruz Village uh, for, their, for their unit. And one had been transferred. All these patients ended up being hospitalized right, out, out of all these patients that were there. Again, this is coming out of Montreal. It says seven Quebecers test positive despite uh, be receiving their shot, heightening questions over delayed boosters. And it goes on to say it's a seven people from this facility were infected within the first 28 days uh, after their first dose. The outbreak doesn't suggest anything new, 
about the uh, the vaccine. It was already clear. It doesn't give full protection. Now that might be the case. It's important to understand how vaccinations work. Often this sort of logic fails to take into consideration the person's own immune system at combating the virus. And since the CDC has already shown, and I've shown in multiple videos that the the uh, the disease, even among the elderly, is roughly around 95%, uh, where 95% of the people who do get it will be just fine and not require hospitalization. About five people, 5% 5 will be admitted uh, and fare badly related to those who end up entering into the network. So when people make the statement and say, well, you know, it's not 100%, what it's taking, what it's not taking into consideration are those who their own immune system is able to fend off the virus without issue. It's it's the ninety five percent, of course. Um, it's the it's the, the the remainder, like those those five percent of people who wouldn't be able to and receive a vaccination will have a better outcome. And of course, you know, it's a very small percentage of, of individuals who, in essence, should be. But very similarly, you know, with the flu shot, the flu shot in geriatric patients is around twenty percent effective. And that's just the reality in regards to the flu shot. So it doesn't surprise me seeing some of these patients. But what really does surprise me is that it's always after the fact. It's that these individuals receive the vax and then shortly after, or, you know, within a month or so, they end up contracting the virus and falling ill. And again, coming out, this is another nursing home. It's a different nursing home in Israel. It says post-vaccine outbreak in Israel in Israel nursing home. It says nursing home in central Israel maintained zero infections, very similar to the Commons nursing home, like I said, located in up, in upstate uh, Syracuse. Uh, it says infections among the residents for 10 months and then nearly 30 test positive after. And so the article goes on to cover that many of these individuals, unfortunately, of course, also had to be hospitalized. And so, again, like I said in my last video, talking about how the World Health Organization had made some uh, differentiations about how to classify them. just because somebody basically tests positive with a PCR swab, it doesn't mean that the person is uh, sick. It doesn't mean that the person can be classified as infected, as infection is more related to whether or not you're showing symptoms of the particular disease, and then everything else can be ruled out, and then the PCR, of course, test positive and so the doctor may feel more inclined to state that this person has this particular disease it is by no means you know a guarantee that you definitely have this particular disease unless of course they do much further um, tests to show otherwise but a pcr test alone of course is not the define the definition of what is infection but for many of these individuals like i've said when you when you look across these four different articles every single one of them all these patients and ended up unfortunately having to be hospitalized and it's always after receiving this particular drug 